Hey everybody, welcome back to another great week. We have a great word from the Lord for you today. We are in faith with you. You are more than a conqueror. Everything you do prospers. Let's dive into the confession of faith of what God has made us to be and let's get rolling today. Say this after me. I am quick. I am sharp. I am bright. I am good looking. I am strong. I am healed. I am very rich. I am a major blessing. I am a soul winner. I am a disciple maker. And that is you. You are all these attributes of victory that God has given you. Listen, we have to remember we're talking about four. These are four of the simple practical and simple things the Lord has taught me over the years. And these are very needed for getting direction. We step out in direction that he gives us as we're praying. We need these things to pray out his perfect will. So many different things. And we step out beyond ourselves into his plan. Come on, David, preach the fire. These are the four major things that I believe that I wanted to impart to you. We've been talking about the four major things. And the first thing we talked about was his boldness. We talked about because you need his boldness to do the things he's called you to do. You need his boldness to walk in the ways he wants you to walk. You need his boldness to give those large amounts that he wants you to give. You need his boldness to pray out the perfect plan and the future for your life. You need his boldness. Go back and listen to that message. It's okay to ask for boldness. Paul asked for boldness. Jesus walked in boldness. Oh, don't get me started. Number two we talked about was asking for God's unction. Asking for God's unction. His touch. His words. We talked about Jesus walking on the road with the two men and how afterwards they said, didn't our hearts burn within us? God's words touch our lives. We know when a person has unction and when a person is just operating in the natural. We talked about that. And so we ask for his unction because that's his plan. That's his direction, whether it be in prayer, whether it be in our business, come on, whether it be in our household, whether it be in our relationships, we don't want to waste time. We want to be in God's plan. And that's what these things are all about. They push us and launch us into those things that he has called us to do. Don't get me started today. Today we're going to talk about number three and the four more most important things that I believe in. We have to remember that we operate in the natural, I'll say it so many times, and in the supernatural. We go about this world sowing our lives into businesses, into families, into relationships, whatever it may, into finances, into uh, whatever it may be. In the natural, we sow ourselves in our natural lives. We live in this natural world, but we have to remember that everything we we do as Christians, as believers, as sons and daughters of God is also supernatural. Whenever we pray, that's supernatural. Whenever we follow his unction, his anointing, his direction, that's supernatural. We live in this world, but we have to remember who we are in Christ and we walk in the supernatural paths he has for us. It's People around us don't understand this. They can't understand this unless they get born again. They receive Jesus. Jesus Christ and a whole new creation happens and now they're walking by the Spirit. Come on now. They're walking by the Spirit as they're walking in the natural. It's a whole different world. Before we were just walking around in the natural kind of blind, but now we're walking in the supernatural with Jesus Christ every day. Come on, David. Pastor David just preached the fire down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be going over number three. Three is where I wanted to get to today, and this is important. So we talked about asking for boldness. We ask for unction so that we have the right purposes and plans. And now here's number three, and this is a whopper. This is casting your cares on the Lord. I've heard this so many times. I've heard this so many times. Well, you need to hear it again because this is a fresh and different direction. Because casting your cares on the Lord, you have to give up your way so that you can walk in His way. I'm going to say it again. You've got to give up your way so you can go in His way. When we talk about the boldness that we need, the unction that we need, that other third plan is casting the cares on Him. Whether it be actual cares and anxieties, but casting your cares is the prayer of dedication. It is the prayer of 
commitment. I'm committed to you. Whatever you want me to pray out today, I'm committed to you. Wherever you want me to go today, whoever you want me to talk to today, oh, you want me to do this in my life. You want me to do this in my family. You want me to do this for my kids or my grandkids. You want me to do this in my business. You want me to do whatever it is. We have to have that whole dedication and commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is huge. I don't think people really know whatever way, whatever way, whatever way you want me to go in my life, I'll say to you, whatever way, whatever way, whatever way you want me to go in my life, I'll do, I'll do what you want me to do and that is walking in the supernatural you know casting your cares when it's anxiety it's not good for you when it's cares and it's burdens and all that 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 has to be in God's hands putting it and committing it and dedicating that to God and walking free is walking in the supernatural I don't know about you but I want to flow with him in the supernatural we realize I think I said enough this morning about the supernatural when we pray. When we talk to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, He's here on the earth. He is here in the inside of us. He is here around us. He is giving us the wisdom and grace and ability and anointing. Don't get me on the fire. The anointing of God. That oil, that that tangible power of Jesus Christ, when that woman touched his garment, when all those men came and sought Jesus Christ and they just sought to touch him, there's power. There's a tangible power of God that we have as church need to wake up to. Paul laid his hands on claws. That tangible power of God went into those claws. Someone needs to hear this. I know I do. Hallelujah. Tangible power, tangible anointing. We live in the supernatural, boys and girls, and we have to really know, listen, this cast in your cares, this dedication to God is supernatural so that we can walk happy and out His plan. Amen? Woo! Woo! It's part of flowing with Him. It's part of flowing with Him. In our finances, not all of us are flowing with Him. He wants to give us some book of Salavincha Dada do Costia. There's some large amounts that we have to give when he tells us to give. And that takes that takes boldness. It takes unction, knowing where his touch is and where to put it. And it takes casting the care of dedicating those finances to him and saying, you know what? These are yours anyways. Might as well give it to you. I'm believing for more. That grace for more is on me. He is the God of too much. Too much, too much, too much. And we have to get our thinking. to Even when we think we're stretched in our faith, there's more to go and more to believe and a greater area of faith where we can press into. Cast in your cares in the Lord. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries to Him because He cares for you. Just that alone He cares for you should be enough for you to step out and do what He's called you to do because He's there to back you up. He's saying right here, cast them all on Him because He cares for you. He's going to back you up. Their translation says, throw all your anxiety Throw. That word throw is also the word give, which is also the word to lay down at God's feet. Throw all your anxiety on Him. Doesn't that loosen you up right there? Throw all your anxiety on Him. All of it. Every bit of it so that you can walk free, so that you can flow with Him, so you can do His his dedicated plan for your life, so you can get in those places of prayer. I have to use this in prayer. I, can, I cannot put my own interpretation on where I'm going when I follow the Spirit of God. He wants to take me into realms I have never been to before. And in order to do that, tongues, uh, heavenly languages, so to speak, heavenly languages that the Holy Spirit gives us, places we've never been before. And we have to remember that. Times are changing. Last chapter of Daniel, in the end times, knowledge, things are going to speed up. We're just keeping up. We're just keeping up with them, but we can be ahead of them when we follow the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God who's on the earth, who's inside of us, who's on top of us. He's all around us, and He loves you so much. Hallelujah. First uh, Peter 5, 7, casting the whole of your care, all, all of your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on Him, walking free, boys and girls, on Him, for He cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. I love that. Cares about you 
watchfully care. He's there. That's what he's saying. He's there. He cares about us watchfully, and he is there. So casting your care is just this nugget of truth. Dedication, the prayer of dedication, the prayer of consecration is bigger than I think we realize. And it has a lot to do with flowing in the areas of God and the areas he wants us to be in. We can't pray out our future unless the Holy Ghost is there. We can't walk out our future unless the Holy Ghost is there. He is with us. The Spirit of God on the earth is with us everywhere we go. And we have to acknowledge that. And I hope we have stirred you up today. His knowings, not wasting time. That's the biggest thing about me. That's why I seek him. I want results. I don't want to waste time. I want to flow with him and be on target. All my target goals, everything I'm believing for. God bless you for joining us today. So now we've done all these things. We're going to be stepping into next week into the most powerful thing. So we've asked for boldness. Father, ask for boldness to do your plans, to pray you things, to do what I need, to say what I need, everything I need to do. Unction, I have to have your touch on my words. I have to have your touch on my steps. I have to have your touch on my life. Number three, dedicating our whole lives. That means every, cares and anxieties don't belong to us. We were never meant to carry them. He is going to take them and he's going to do something with him while you're sleeping at night. He never sleeps. Jesus said he never sleeps. Jesus said, I'll leave the scripture down below. Jesus said, my father is always working. Jesus said that. The words of Jesus Christ. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up today. Father, just thank you so much for all the good things that you have for us in our lives. Thank you that we're going to go higher, deeper, broader. Holy Spirit, open our minds to who you really are and the power that dwells on the inside of us, the power that's on top of us, the power to give whatever it is, love, uh, finances, whatever. Just the your anointing, your touch, your fire is on us. We thank you for that. Open the eyes of understanding and flood them with your presence and your light. We love you so much. We walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith. That means we walk with you and not by sight. We're, we just, we're just joyful children walking with you. Hey, listen, just reach out to us if you need anything. I want to pray with a few people here that might have joined on, and people do join on these broadcasts. They don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. They get fired up. They either, one, they've fallen away from God and they come back to God, or number two is if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He is here for you today, and He loves you so much. Just know no, Romans 5, 8 says he died in your place. You can look these scriptures up if you want to do more research, but you just know in your heart. Number two, he rose from the dead just for you. And that's in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 6. Uh, I'll tell you what. Next one is Jesus is the only way to God. He's the only way. And this shook me up. John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. That's how we get to him through Jesus Christ. Jesus waiting on us today. Romans 10, 13 says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will experience new life. Let's get new life today. Let's stir ourselves up. Let's pray this prayer of faith together and receive Jesus Christ right now. Come back to the Lord right now or just reaffirm our faith right now. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I open the door of my life to you. I call you my Lord and my Savior, my everything. Take my life, Jesus. Take my life. I dedicate my life to you and I give it to you. Thank you for eternal life. I receive it right now in Jesus name. Amen. Well, hey, listen, thanks for joining us today. If you've prayed that prayer, go to breedlifemissions.org. I'll show the links down below. There's an area called brand new to Jesus. Listen, Jesus loves you so much. The Holy Spirit loves you so much. And the Father loves you so much. Glory to God. Let's end for the kingdom of God. Every time we come together, we end saying for the kingdom on the count of three, because we do everything for the kingdom. You do everything for God's kingdom. On the count of three, let's say for the kingdom. One, two, 
three for the kingdom god bless you guys reach out to us if you need prayer or anything otherwise have a strong week join us on thursday for carol joy and myself we'll see you next sunday get in god's word he loves you so much prosper in him in jesus name amen